Hello Chicks owners and dreamers, welcome to DB's Basement Arcade Repair. This is the first installment of what you're going to need to sandpaper a Chicks dome here. Um, first, 3M sand block. 3M sandpaper, good assortment. I've got 800, 1500, 2000, 3000. I'll even get on Amazon and I've got sheets of 5,000 and 7,000 I'll finish with. Um, for bad scratches, you're going to need a little bit more than 800. Um, I go all the way down to 400. I've even got some uh, like 320 just in case, but 400 seems to get a lot of the deep scratches. And that is key with the domes is the deep scratches. If you can fill them, it's deep. If you can't fill them, surface scratches, they'll be even easier to get. You won't need the super hard grit sandpaper for the fine ones. Um, so what we want also, big stack of microfiber towels and only microfiber towels. That's all the rags. You don't want to get a, a bath towel, a dish towel, a dirty rag, whatever. Just microfiber, clean microfiber towels. Um, water bottle, just water only, um, nothing fancy. Also a headlamp, this is key too to just be able to see the scratches. I've already started here, um, so you'll see a little bit of white where you do sand. Um, but a headlamp so you can really see the scratches. Um, also, not in this video, but you will need a hand buffer to finish. I've got the Auto Spa 6 inch uh, hand buffer. This is how you get the shine back. This is how you get the white off. Um, so don't be, don't be scared if you start getting real hazy and, and a lot of white. That's where the buffer comes in and the Novice 3, 2, and 1. Um, but we'll go, go over that later in another video on polishing. But um, just for items to get, hand polisher, 6 inch. Get two or three. Um, bonnets as well. I like the wool ones. There's also foam and microfiber as well. Um, the foam I like more than the microfiber. Um, you know, get two or three foam ones, two or three wool ones. That way when you're using the different foam, you can switch between bonnets and uh, use different polish with each um, bonnet. Um, but that'll be for later. So, what we want to do get our sandpaper and our spray bottle and um, find your scratches you know like I said I already started here I had a good little scratch here and what I'll do sandpaper wet dome wet you know you'll make a mess so that's why you want a bunch of microfiber towels um, <clears throat> but once you get it wet got my head lamp here <clears throat> You just want to go start in one direction. So I had a scratch here. I'll just start to go up and get a good upstroke on it. Get some good pressure on it to get that scratch out. You'll start to see it haze up. You know, plenty of water as you go. Get all of it going in just one direction. Until you can't feel the scratch anymore. This was a pretty deep scratch here to where I could really feel it. Get it to where you can't feel it. So since I've already done it, I can't feel it now. So I'll upgrade the sandpaper after I get all the other scratches that were deep. So I do have another scratch here that we'll start on. And I'll kind of show you how I do it here. See if I can zoom in. Just right through here, I've got um, a couple scratches you can see that are that you can feel by hand. So I'll start on that one. Make sure I got the camera. On that. Yeah, that one right there. So a little wet, a little wet on your sandpaper. Um, I'll just go ahead and go the same direction because with the same grit sandpaper, you want to go the same direction every time. It's just a little bit easier to um, keep that same line. You don't want to go opposite. That's the key is to just go the same way with the same grit sandpaper. When you switch, you'll put a different stroke on it. You know, you'll go 
back and forth this way or put a little bit of angle at it however the way you want to hit it just go at a different angle with a different grit sandpaper on the on the spots so the heavy spots I just start in sections I'm not going to do the whole whole dome in 400 because it doesn't need it that'd be too much work so heavy scratches 400 um, start on this one here so I'm going to go in that back motion this way and I'll kind of go this way and just work it real good right there. It's kind of a long one so maybe got some more. Turn that headlamp off if it's messing with that but you just want to get it to where you can't fill it. You know and you don't want to go super big because then you got to go just as you know a little bit bigger with the next grit sandpaper. See, even right there, I can't even fill it. I got a little bit right there. i bring it up a little bit. A little scuff, but you can almost even see them disappear in there. At least I can with my eye, so keep it wet. So, say I'm done with this one. 400, that was my last one. Yeah, switch sandpaper go to work on the next one 800 I'll go a little bit bigger so my the spot I work back this way I'll go a little bit bigger to cover those scratches of the previous grit that is key don't do not leave scratches from the previous grit those that's the ones that will show when you're done and you're going to be trying to buff them out later and it doesn't happen that way so headlamp them just make sure you get every scratch that you can see with that grit go to the next one um, from there, I'll go at least about 1500. Once I hit 1500 grit, I'm going to do the whole dome. That's when you start to do the whole dome. Um, 1500, 2000, depending on your scratches. Again, all depending on your scratches. Some, you won't even have to get to 400. You can start at, at 2000 and get all the surface scratches. Um, and like I said, 2000, just do the whole dome. Okay, so I'm on 1500 grit now, and you can start to see the haze from the 800 grit. You know, don't let this scare you. It's normal. You know, you got a lot of money invested, but don't worry, it's going to be nice and shiny like those two in no time. So, another key that I want to mention between grits, that's why you want also a bunch of rags, is you really want to wipe off all the stuff you just sanded off really key to get that in between grits in between uh, polishes as well anytime you go really just in stages wipe it off real good get all the stuff you just got reapply the water reapply the wax whatever you got to do um, whatever stage you're on so again um, did 800 going 1500 so you can see I'm starting to get a little bit more of the base so probably about 1500 2000 you're going to be doing all the base regardless of what your scratches look like if you have to sand your base you're probably going to have to do the whole thing at about 2000 1500 and scratch there and work out of just saying um, <clears throat> so reapply your water I'll go ahead and just even turn on the headlamp hopefully they don't mess up the camera um, because that, that is key too is uh, to be able to see your scratches you need the headlamp so you can physically see them that's probably why I missed it I didn't have my headlamp on um, anyway so last time I was going like this so I'm going to reverse the stroke I'm going to go back and forth in the water and then just go to town you've got to put some muscle into it you can't be scared no no light strokes. We need manly, manly strokes here to get all the scratches off. A lot of people will tell you this is easy and it's not. They tell you it's easy but haven't done it right before, more than likely. So, anywhere I see something, I'm squirting and sanding. Where scratches were right through here. And then have to switch hands, get the other hand going. 
Plenty of water. And we'll start to see it clear up. Once you get this high of sandpaper, you'll see them scratches start to disappear into that next grid. zoom in here a little bit just so you can really see you know see even the difference where I haven't sanded and have sanded with the new grit eh, kinda. it'll start to uh, like I said, you'll start to see it all blend in for a certain time the more time you spend it into it better it's going to look so this is more of a weekend chore not a afternoon project for sure plenty of muscle plenty of time so that's 1500 I'll be back whenever I'm on the lighter stuff here Okay, back with the 3000 grid. You can see it's uh, after the 2000 grid, it's starting to get a little clearer, not as hazy. Um, I did use about four or five pieces of that 2000 grit on this, so it does take multiple pieces depending on how bad the dome is. Again, this one wasn't as bad, four or five deep scratches. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it does take multiple sandpaper uh, trips so yeah you need the guns um, or you'll get them and you'll learn them if you do it right so um, let's go ahead and do the 3000 let's see I guess I'm back again this way keep having that stroke let's go that way get the sandpaper <laughs> And again, the more time you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it, the more, you're, the more shine you're going to get. So, put in the effort, you'll get it looking good. So, I just want to keep working it really good. And you'll start to see it clear up. I'll just do kind of half of it here. scratches I'm trying to never stay in one spot you know I'm, I've got a few bad scratches right here so I'll, I'll work on them but I'll keep it moving you know never we're staying one spot too long you know I'll do uh, you know say maybe I'll do half of this with uh, this piece of sandpaper switch my sandpapers I'll do this other half with it and wipe it off change my sandpaper again do the same thing again uh, 3000 grit again do one side do the other wipe it off and you know use your headlight make the judgment if you've got all the scratches going that way the way you're going and you can switch sandpapers. But never switch until you get them all going the same way. And yeah, I've got sweat dripping down. I'm gonna try to do this all tonight. Most times you can't do them in one night. Like I said, it may be a weekend gig, take your time. You know, you invested a lot of money in this, just do it right. You always hate doing something wrong and then you gotta do it three times harder. Just keep working it. Yeah, there's a good round on that side. 
Now get these edges, get the corners. Those are easy to mess. Just as long as you're going that same way, you'll be good. So yeah, I'll uh, switch my sandpaper out, hit this other side, throw some 5,000 on because I want to get this dome really shiny. So I'll probably hit it with 5,000 and then come back and check in then. Alright, finishing up with the 7,000 grid here just to get that extra shine on it. It's starting to look pretty good. Starting to be able to see inside of it. Haze is starting to really dissipate. Keep working your scratches. A couple big scratches there. It's starting hard to get see to see them now. Another trick. Once you start doing this for two or three hours, you can lean over, get a couple drops of sweat on there. That's the magic ingredient. Wet sand with your sweat. If you're doing that, guaranteed success. 100%. In everything you do. This is probably my third piece of 7,000 grit. Just want to make sure I get every every spot I feel a little resistance. Resistance. If it's not smooth by now, you got something going on there. It should be smooth. Good smooth stroke. you get every last bit. It's a lot easier to get it with the sandpaper than it is the uh, hand buffer. I'd rather work a little bit harder on the sandpaper less is hard with the buffer. I'd rather the buffer be doing the shine than doing the cutting. Let the sandpaper do the cutting. Hand polisher do the polishing. But if you do it just right you won't have any problems but just like this meticulously getting every spot wiping down in between you can see there's not a lot of white residue you'll get a lot of white residue when you're good unless you want to get that off because that's going to keep scratching it if that's on there Yeah, it's looking about ready for the polisher. <clears throat> Go ahead and wipe it off here. Looking at our scratches. Spots on my head. Hit again just because I'm OCD, but for the most part, sanding is done. You know, definitely no scratches to the fill on this, especially after you're done. For sure, don't want to. You know, you may see them. I see that one, but I'll get it with the polisher. Not too worried about it, but polishing will be the next video, so I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up. I've got more polish coming tomorrow, so I can't really finish it tonight. That's, I'll do two videos, do my sanding in one video, polishing in the other. Like I said, I think I'm going to hit it again with the 7,000 just to 
make it pretty and perfect and uh, start polishing them all. Hope that's helping people. Like I say, key, don't be scared. Get in there. A lot of pressure. You want to take some time, get the right stuff. 3M, always good products. And I'll be back with the uh, polish we need and how to do it.